Hi guys, welcome back to another DJF video review. Today we're checking out two relatively new cases from Fractal Design. Uh, so today we have two from their Core series. We have the Core 2500 and the 3300. So these are from their new sort of uh, more of their budget range. Both of these cases are under a hundred dollars. So we'll have a look and see what the quality you get with uh, Fractal cases in the more of their cheaper end of the scale. A lot of Fractal design cases are sort of more expensive and the quality is much better than other cases on the market. So we'll jump in and have a look. Uh, just one thing to note, these cases are both ATX cases. Um, the 3300 will support EATX but the 2500 won't so I'll go into that later on. And the 3300 comes in at just over 9 kilos and the 2500 is exactly 7 kilos. So I won't spend any more time on these, we'll just jump in and we'll see what's inside the boxes you get and what the cases look like in more detail. Alrighty guys, so we've got the two cases here, we've got the 2500 and the 3300. So I'll just go over them, um, I don't have any systems to put into these or build them up, but I'll just be putting a motherboard in, showing you how they look and showing you how some other gear fits in them. So the main differences between the 2500 and 30. 300 is the 2500 is slightly smaller. It's not too much shorter. Um, it's a little bit shorter in depth and the width is a sort of a fair bit um, smaller as well. So it's a little bit smaller all around. And the other major aspect on the 2500 is it only supports up to ATX motherboard, uh, motherboards and the 3300 supports up to EATX. So now a lot of people think that EATX means you need a, a higher case, um, a much taller one. But this board here is an EATX and this board is an ATX. They're exactly the same length boards, but the difference is EATX is a slightly little bit wider. You can see there, so it's about nearly an inch or so wider. So this board will fit in the 3300, this board will fit in the 3300, but only this board will fit in the 2500 because it doesn't support e EATX. This one, I'm pretty sure, will hit the, uh, the hard drive cages as it only supports up to EATX. Uh, sorry, it only supports up to a ATX, so we'll have a look at that a little bit later on when we go to fit the boards. Um, we'll just have a quick look at, um, at the externals of these cases and what you get. Um, both of them come with uh, 140mm fan uh, sort of grills up the top, so you've got one there and one there. They're pretty much the same on each side, and you've also got cutouts for, or not cutouts, but holes to put 120mm fans on as well, so it's pretty neat they've done that. And then on the top of each case, they're pretty much exactly the same on each one. You've got your two USB 3. It's good that they have two USB 3. Mind you, both of these cases are sub $100 cases, so they're your entry level cases. Um, I think Factual Design is sort of jumping into a uh, sub $100 market. They did start off with a lot of high quality, more expensive cases. So it's good to see that they're bringing out some nice uh, quality looking cases that are under $100. Uh, you've also got your microphone, your headphone, it looks like a hard drive LED there and then we have your power and your reset button there. So they're not the pushing ones, they're just the clicky ones there and that's the same on each one. And then going on the front you've got a, it's actually plastic but it looks like a uh, aluminium design. You can just see that there and then you've got your, each one has two five and a quarter inch dry bays and you've got mesh down the side on each one like that and that is also filtered if you pull the covers off on each one. Like most cases, they just pull off from the front. You need a decent pull like that. And you can actually see they've got, uh, where are we? They've got mesh. Let's see if I can get a better shot. They've got mesh in here. So it's squishy mesh all the way through. So that'll act as a, a filter. So for your intake fans, it'll, um, it'll stop any dust getting in and then you can just sort of I don't know, hose this down or, or clean it if you like. So we'll cover the uh, 2500 first, um, instead of going back and forwards, back and forwards. So at the front, we'll cover all the cooling options first. So at the front, you've got two 120mm fan um, areas. Uh, it only gives you one 120mm one, one fan. But bear in mind, this case is about $80. So to get a couple of fans in this case is actually really nice. Um, and that is just a standard through pin um, fan connector there. Uh, moving on to the top, as I said before, you've got support for 140 and 120. I'm pretty sure you can't put a radiator up here. Um, it doesn't say it in the specs. We'll look at this later on, but I'm pretty sure the gap between your motherboard and the top is not enough. It would have been nice if they did that, because uh, you could have got a nice little case to be able to support a radiator up the top, but it will only support one in the front. 
Um, moving on towards the back, we've got support for a, another 120 millimeter. So it's quite weird. You've got options for 120s and 140s. So 140s on the top and 120s, and then 120s from front and um, and back. Uh, so you got 120 at the back. You've got a nice little fan controller here, which is nice. Um, wonder if the other one has that. I can't really see, but the other one might have that as well. So you've got low, medium, or high up there, which is a nice little feature. Now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, PCI slots, and they're the nice, typical um, white fractal design ones. Uh, you've got a bit of ventilation there, and then your standard power supply um, hole there. So pretty much clean there. Um, on the other side, nothing, just the side panel. And that's it. So we'll open up the side panel. Um, so this one is a swinging door, so it swings out like this and i'm pretty sure on the other one it is a sliding door all right so moving on to the inside on the 2500 you can see we've got support for one two three four uh standard three and a half inch hard drives and uh, these will also have support for ssds as well um, so you can fit four mechanical hard drives or um four ssds so for a small case you've got plenty of options there for ssds and hard drives um, we'll just have a look and see what you get inside the accessories box um okay so we just get a little bag there not too much there so we got um by the looks of it, motherboard standoffs um all black screws which is nice you get a few thin zip ties and it looks like you even get some radiator screws as well um the longer ones so you get quite a few bits and pieces there which is pretty good to see um now there's also cooling capabilities for the bottom as well um, it's got 120 more fan support for the bottom, um, but you have to take out the hard drive bay. So if you're not using the bottom hard drive bay, you can add a 120 more fan there, providing your power supply is not some humongous one that is going to sort of take up the whole area. Um, just a note on the fan controller that I mentioned earlier on the back there, oh, that actually just pulls out, which is uh, kind of handy. I'm not sure if it's meant to do that, but, um, but yeah, that's it there. So what you do is you plug this back in up the top oh yeah so that's just a that's just a socket so the fan controller just plugs in like that we'll just make sure i got that the right way yeah okay so that's just a connector up there in a socket so it is handy you can take it out it's just sitting on a pcb um so now you can support up to three fans so we got one two Three. So mind you, they're not um, four-pin uh, PWM control fans. They're just standard ones, and then it just uses um, standard SATA. Well, it's interesting. It has SATA power. So if you don't have, they're not using Molex anymore. It's good that more devices are moving to SATA power. So it's pretty handy. They've got that on the back there. So for an eighty-dollar case, you can support up to three fans on that little fan controller, which is nice. Um, it's got support for the two CD-ROM drives. I guess probably not more CD-ROMs these days. More or less uh, fan controllers and other options like that. Um, it, if you are running a double bay res or something like that, it supports that. And it's also nice, it's got a nice cutout here for a extended uh, video card if you need it. Um, I might actually take this clip back out. So, all right, so we'll just quickly show you what I meant by the motherboard before on fitting a, so this one's the ATX. So I'll just put that in there. So that one fits in there nicely, just nice and snug. You can see it up there. So this is up to ATX. Now, if I go and fit the EATX, which I just mentioned before, there's no way in the hell that that's gonna fit in there. It's just too long. Bear in mind, it was less than an inch bigger, but it will not fit. But this one, I can guarantee, will fit into the other, um, the 3300 case. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned before, um, it does say for the cooling capabilities, for the top, you can fit a slim, a radiator up the top but you do have to um, you do have to um, you can't have a CD-ROM or a bay device in the, the top uh, bay up here but bear in mind that would have to be a pretty slim radiator like if I put this um, if I put this motherboard back in like that you can see the clearance up the top there and it is not very much at all so um, I don't know how thin you're going to have to go. Um, bear in mind, your memory is going to be like right up the top there. So you're not looking at very much at all. Um, so I probably wouldn't guarantee being top 
a place for a radiator. Um, definitely the front. Uh, it does say the front, you can easily fit one in there. Bear in mind, you will have to take the two uh, the drive bays out. So, but you can definitely fit a 240 in the front. All right, so moving on to the connector. So it does have USB 3. Um, a lot of sort of cheaper cases these days don't have USB 3, so it's nice they've given you a USB 3. And um, we've got a HD audio. Really like how it is just HD audio. It's not that little uh, little uh, bit that fans out and gives you the AC 97. No one uses that these days, and it just makes a mess. And then we have your standard front panel connectors there, nicely all black uh, with white labeling on. So that's really nice that they've done that as well. So I'll just do some last few checks before we start going over the uh, larger 3300. So I'll just put the board back in. And we'll just do some um, CPU cooler checks and just make sure we're... Um... Right, so CPU cooler height, you're looking at about 160 or so uh, millimeters. And it says on the website 162. So that's pretty much spot on there. Our video card, um, you're not going to have any issues at all with uh, the video cards because you've got that cutout area where the hard drives are so no issues there um, a power supply you're going to have no issues there at all unless you wanted to try and jam a fan down there but it's probably not needed um, it does actually have a uh, we'll just cover the bottom a bit now it does actually have a nice uh, mesh filter you can actually slide this out i probably won't be able to get it back on but yeah it can pull out um, so it's nice that the bottom has that as well and then you just got some nice rubber feet there as well that just clip in i think i might be able to no a bit tight but yeah just some nice hard they're actually not rubber they're just plasticky like that so they probably won't leave a mark on your desk like the rubber ones but they will slide around and not grip as well um, the only bit that concerns me now is the gap behind the motherboard tray if you have a look oh it's about a centimeter maybe not even that so that's going to be really tough um, you probably can't even fit a 24 pin behind there and you don't get any uh, indents in the side panel so that is really tough there so um, but bear in mind you're not going to be building a monster system in here with like full video cards um, a massive power supply 10 hard drives so it's really just going to be uh, probably like a land build a di uh, like an office or a home build uh, just something simple so it's probably not that concerned it's only a worry when you spend two three hundred dollars on a case that you want to deck out and you get minimum space behind the motherboard tray to fit all your cables so that's not too bad of a concern there just one more thing before we go over the uh the larger 3300 case i was just going through the uh specs and it did say it has a ssd dedicated position so there were no real pictures of it anywhere so i sort of went hunting around it took me a little while to find it uh, i looked everywhere um, but on the back behind the power supply you can just see there the four sort of holes we can't see the two ones down there so they are indented from this side so when you screw in from the um, the normal side they will be flush so the power supply won't knock them and then you can fit an SSD just like that so that is a neat little feature and then you just got access through the holes there um, and so on so I was quite uh, surprised to see that so for an $80 or so case you are getting quite a few features there um, and it's quite sort of surprising that Fractal has sort of thought of all these sort of little nifty areas to sort of stick things. Um, just another thing, you also don't get any grommets around anywhere, so, but it is nice and soft. It's not going to cut your arm off or anything, so I actually think grommets are sort of overrated. A lot of cases these days give you a thousand and one grommets and it's not necessarily needed. Um, they do sort of stand out and I actually think they make a case look uh, messy so just having a few holes in the right spot um, can sometimes be better okay so moving on to the big brother the 3300 so very similar very similar design uh, we'll just pull the front off like that so same layout you've got the mesh filters here so that's the only room for intake on these sides here and then you've got the sort of uh, plastic aluminium look along there. So it does look pretty cool. Bear in mind, I think this is this case is right on $100. So you're looking at 80, 80 or so for the 2500, the slightly smaller one, and then 100 for this one. 
So for the front now, this gets upgraded to supporting two 120 or 144 millimeter fans, and it comes with one of the standard fractal design ones there as well. Um, another area I like on their website when you go to the specs, it tells you the thickness of all the radiators and where they're supported. So it actually says the front can support up to a 33 millimeter thickness radiator, the top can support so much. So it's actually good that they do actually say that, or a lot of uh, a lot of websites don't. Um, we'll cover the radiators in a little bit. We'll just go over the back. Um, so now the back gets also upgraded to a 140 or a 120, mil 120 millimeter uh, fan, so that can also be a radiator as well. And we actually do notice that we do now get a bit of room up the top, whereas the last one was sort of cut off. So we might be able to get a larger radiator thickness up the top. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, same amount of PCI slots. And then we have the power supply cut out down the bottom like so. So very much the same. And then the back is just completely plain. And I might actually just cover the feet now while we're doing the exterior. And we also get the upgraded of a sort of quick removal uh, mesh fan filter, whereas the previous, the 2400 was sort of a bit harder to pull out on the go. So it's pretty sweet that I've done that. And we also get similar feet, but these ones are a slightly different sort of design, but they look very similar. All right, so moving on to the inside. Oh, just one more thing before I do take that off. Um, we actually do get a side as well, and that's um, very similar to the other one, and that's 120 or 140 uh, millimeters as well. So this one is a bit harder to get off. It is a slide one quite tight and then it just comes off like so so it's interesting that they've done the slide and on this one and the other one is sort of the, the closed door all right so we can see we got so much more room inside now just that, that little bit bigger and the way they've designed this case um, the first thing you'll notice is you've got this bar along here so this bar is your SSD bar so it supports one two three bar uh, th sorry three SSDs and it, it'll also support standard hard drives as well um, and I guess you can probably do them, it looks like you can do them at the same time. So I'll just grab a hard drive if I've got one floating around here. I normally have a few. Um, I had an SSD here as well. So um, it's got me thinking that you can go hard drive like this. That's if those holes line up. Where are we? Yep, so you can go hard drive like that. And then you can go SSD like that. So, and then you can do that three times. So another one there and another one there. So that's a very interesting design. Um, I think they've done that so you can, you can fully cake this up and you can still put a radiator in the front. So it's interesting they've done that. I don't think I've seen that before on a case. So definitely something um, unique there. Um, I'll just get this out of the way so it doesn't um, interfere. Um, so we do actually get quite a few more bits and pieces, not too many more. Um, we've got a heap of screws, radiator screws, and then just some uh, some zip ties and so on. Um, first thing I noticed with this case, it is a bit bigger. It has made the top a little bit sort of flimsy, um, but it's not a huge deal. But if you get some fans in there, it'll probably be okay. Um, so this bar is removable, so if you don't want this bar in here, you can completely take it out. So it is good they've done that. It looks like you can't put it on the other side. Um, I'm just looking here. No, you can't put it on the other side. I thought you'd probably be good if, could if you could, then you could just put the, uh, the SSDs and hard drive on the other side. And then you've also got support for two um, five and a quarter inch bays, whether they're a reservoir, CD-ROMs or a fan controller. Um, so that's pretty much all the fan support um, covered. Um, also, there's one down the bottom like the other one, but this one's 140 and 120 millimeter down there. All right, so we'll cover the radiator support um, or the water cooling support. So the front, I reckon it can support up to a 30 mil millimeter, 240 or 280 millimeter radiator. Um, I do like it how you can put the fans in the front. So it'll fit standard uh, thickness fans, uh, what is that, 25 millimeter in the front. And then you can stick the radiator on the um, on the inside. So I'm not sure why it says 30 millimeter thick radiator. I guess that's 
if you're putting it in the front, but I guess you probably wouldn't put it in the front because um, you could probably fit the whatever size radiator you want, providing you uh, it wasn't going to interfere with the hard drives here. You could stick the thickest radiator you want and just let it come out, providing you don't have a video card that's like humongous, which I'm pretty sure there's none out. You should be fine with that. Um, I'll actually finish off with the radiator support. Um, all right, along the top, it reckons you can fit a, another 240. Um, doesn't say 280. Um, the top says uh, 240. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's on a separate line. 280 or 240. Um, it reckons 280 with slim fans, so they're those really small slim fans. And uh, the standard for a, um, a uh, 340, I guess, would be the same thickness. Um, uh, sorry, 240 would be the same thickness. thickness. So if I put the uh, motherboard in like that, you can see we've got a little bit more up the top there, but much, not much more. Certainly, if you're doing a custom water cooling loop, it's really going to be hard to find a dedicated radiator and fans to fit up there. Um, bear in mind, it is brought forward a little bit, but it's still going to. I still think it's going to hit the, uh, the RAM slot, so it'd have to be a bit closer. So, um, there. So, we'll actually put the other motherboard in, and I'll show you what I mean by this one will support, 100% support EATX which is the extended one. So it's going to be a little bit um, further to the right. So let's just slide that in like so. And then, yeah, it fits no worries. Whereas the other case, it just didn't fit at all. Um, and also notice with this one, you don't get grommets either, which um, for me, it's not a whole concern. Um, it is nice and rounded and it's not sharp. All right, and you can also put a radiator on the back if people still want to use 120 these days. All in one coolers can go there. And this one actually doesn't have the fan controller up the top. Um, it's just got nothing there. It's just got your standard three-pin fan there. And the fan on the front that it comes with is a three-pin fan as well. Okay, so we'll just do some of our other um, final testing with uh, measurements. So if I just put this motherboard back in. Alrighty, so CPU cooler height, we're looking at about... 175 I would say nearly one sorry wrong looking at the wrong thing I'll probably say 185 180 to 185 and then on the website it says 185 so uh, not too far off there um, video cards you're going to be fine because you've actually got no no tr traditional drive bays in the front completely different design um, just bear in mind if you're looking for a case for hard drive storage um, this probably isn't the one for you you're only going to fit three uh, standard three and a half inch mechanical drives on this side unless you get some converters up the top so um, it's not going to be a case to fit um, 10 or so plus hard drives i know fractal do do other cases where it's just caked with hard drives in the front so if you're looking for one for hard drives that's probably more the one for you okay so doing some testing on the back this actually looks a bit better now on this side so yeah that's way better so we've got a full two centimeters now full two centimeters um behind the motherboard tray which is much better than the other one and then we can see it might be a bit hard but you can just see how much room you got there so you do get more and then you get a nice cut out there and you get this massive open wide space there which is probably quite strange because most board most cases don't have these um this hole they normally have them like hard drive caddies going there Right, moving on to the connectors. So we've got pretty much the same as the other one, USB 3, your um, front panel connectors, all black, which is nice. And then you have your HD audio, no AC97, which is good to see. And then this one also has, if I can find it, it's got two dedicated SSD ports. Like the last one had one, this one has two. So if I can try and find these, I will have to stop the video and try and hunt these down. Okay, so I found these two SSD um, extra ones. Uh, it was a bit trickier this time because the last time it had four countersunk sort of holes where I could find them. So these ones are still behind the motherboard tray. So you can see you got two holes there, two holes there, two holes there, two holes there. So you can fit two SSDs, one like so, like that. Mine doesn't sit flat because it's got some Velcro on. So one can go there and then one can go there so you've got an extra so you can fit up to five ssds and then your three uh your three uh three and a half inch uh, mechanical hard drives 
Alrighty, so that's it guys uh, with covering these two cases. Um, as you can see, there's quite a fair bit in that's been put into these cases, uh, quite a fair bit of effort designing these. Um, you've got some interesting designs with the uh, SSD bracket and the SSDs that can go on the back of the motherboards on both of these. So like, bear in mind, the 2500 is around $80, so uh, you don't get much for $80 uh, these days. So I was really impressed with um, what you can get uh, with this. If you're a, a novice uh, enthusiast or a, a PC beginner and you're after something to start off with, definitely the 2500 is a great case to sort of uh, familiarize yourself with, uh, with getting into computers. And it's sort of great quality for, for what you get. And then you got the 3300, which is a step up, can fit a larger motherboard if you're going to be running a few VGA cards, uh, a smaller sort of water cooling kit and whatnot. The uh, 3300 is definitely a case for you. So that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, once again, I want to thank uh, Fractal Design for sending us these cases to check out and stay tuned for more videos in the future.